I got a few tools today. The first one being uh, a little pulse welding machine made for uh, pretty much soldering, soldering or welding together these 18650 batteries. Um, you pretty much just put a strip of nickel here and uh, go cha-chunk, cha-chunk, and weld all your batteries together. Get a good solid connection. Uh, this can be pressurized so with this to, to adjust how much pressure you have to put before it actually triggers the, uh, the pulse to go through. I also have a foot pedal if I want to use that instead. And I have this nice little handy dandy probe pen device as well. So I don't have to use that. I can use this instead. I uh, got a little grinder that came with it. So I can grind down all the uh, carbon that builds up on those probes. They gave me a few extra probes in addition. So that was pretty nice. So I got two probes or two fangs, I'll call it. And these are the uh, the shafts up there. So, and then I got two, uh, I think these are 20 amp fuses down here. So two, two, and two. Uh, let's see, they gave me some strips of nickel or at least they are iron plated nickel or, or nickel plated iron. So they got really thin stuff, which I, I don't know if I'll use that. And then we got the normal size stuff, which I'll probably use for some smaller batteries to play around with. Um, they also do like a QA inspection. So I'll show you what, what all settings they used and where is the piece of metal? <laughs> don't know where the metal is. That's all right, it's, it's around here somewhere. Oh, I found it and my dog's been chewing up a lot of stuff. There we go. So you can see uh, this is what they did with that machine with the nickel plating. I guess the bottom material is what batteries are usually made out of. So it went right through. Uh, in addition to that, I got a two different type of battery charger slash discharger things. So I'm going through and testing these ultra fires, which um, I don't have much hope for, but I'm playing around testing. Uh, they, they're mainly known uh, scammy batteries on eBay from a few years back. I'll probably pull off covers once that's done telling me what they actually are. I'll put on these covers and just write with a permanent marker what, what I see that they can do. So, yeah, fun stuff. Uh, mainly the main problem is I live in the mountains. <laughs> and my city car does not have the voltage nor the, the discharge amperage needed to go on those mountains. So um, I've been trying to find batteries that can deliver more amps and... Uh, voltage and I've been having a lot of bad luck so I'm looking into doing this myself and uh, starting out small but you know I could buy the 30 to 60 dollar things the do-it-yourself things that people have some are just kits but they warm up and they look dangerous so I'm like let's see what the professionals do since I'm pretty much trying to build a professional battery pack here and that's what I got so 737DH is the model number from Sunco.